Hello friends, welcome to a beautiful autumn day in Lancaster, Ohio. I'm here at Rock Mill Brewing Company. Let's go in and try some beers. The larger part of the building appears to be their brew house. Not quite sure yet, but it smells wonderful out here. They have food, they have this food hut, food cart, rowdy dogs here. And that's not the smell I'm talking about. I'm talking about the scent of a campfire. There must be a fireplace going on here, but the whole area smells like fire. It's awesome. As in the last couple of videos, I'm taking the bartender's word for it. I'm getting my cask noir. It's a stout with saison yeast. Is what he said. All right. All right, friends. Let's try this cask noir. Mm. It's a ten percent barrel aged. Ooh. Definitely barrel aged. You can taste that bourbon in there real well. It's not crazy though. It's not like over the top. Mm. That's very good. I like this a lot. It's ten dollars for this. It's a ten percent great beer. I'd say it's worth it. Probably one of the most beautiful tasting rooms I've been in. Number 13 on the menu is Ace Dry Cider. It is a 5%. Let's try it. This is Sarah's beer, not my beer. Very smooth, real light, real light. I like it. Yeah, this is a $9 beer at 5%. Just keep me up to date on the prices here, friends. No real deals in this brewery, but you're paying for the ambiance. Believe me, this is beautiful. This is a fine looking beer, isn't it? I like their logo. So the bartender's got some food, check it out. Their, their food looks really good from today's vendor. Nice stuff. All right. Okay, friends, I'm trying the Sandra Roland. It is a 4.7% vanilla cinnamon. Wow. First thing that comes to mind is Yankee Candle. It's like <clears throat> the, I don't know what the, what the flavor of candle is, but it's like they melted it down into a beer and you're drinking it. It's like that Christmas time spice cake is what it tastes like. Spice cakey, not too much vanilla, not too much cinnamon, not like a, uh, what's the, uh, what's that breakfast cereal? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's not like that. It's not quite like that. It's like nice. It's really nice. I like the finish on this. It's still lingering. It's still lingering. It's good stuff. Nice work. It's so beautiful. And it, yeah, it helps that it's fall time and it smells like campfire. Just a little Saison is all I'm having right here. It's called the Petite Saison. I think that's French. I'm not sure. Is that French? Petite? Confirmed. It is small. Little. Whatever. Mm. It is a little Saison-y. It's like a... Like a beer with a, you know, it's a Saison-ish type of beer. It's smoother than what I normally taste in a Saison. Mm. Oh, I, I've never tasted a Saison like this. This is super smooth, great finish to this. Mm. It does taste like a farmhouse, but it's, you know, mild. I like this. Okay, friends, Austin, the bartender, said that this gin and tonic is the best gin and tonic we'll ever have in our life. So, Sarah ordered one. I'm going to taste it right now. Is it proper to drink out of the straw or the, the glass? I don't know. But I taste it out of the straw. It tastes really, really good. It's made with uh, four peel. Four peel gin. It used to be watershed. Sort of Columbus distillery. Never been there. Oh, good. Whatever that herb is, it, uh, it starts with a Q. Okay, juniper doesn't start with a Q. Canise, quinine, quinine, whatever it is, it's strong in there. It's very good. They have other mixed drinks too. Not many, but they have some. They got some tequila there. It's 
some whiskey, good stuff. Okay friends, we were told to take our beers and take a walk. Just say, take a hike. Go out here and check out the brewery. So here we go. Down this rock road, they said take a walk down the rock road, told us some things about it. I think the destination will be pretty cool. This is really nice, all this sandstone here on the sides of the pathway, leading to who knows where. But we're just walking and walking and then look over here to our left and see this beautiful pond. Oh, there's the chapel. And the chapel, yes, the chapel. Just across from the pond is this barn, and I think it's where they have receptions for weddings they host out here. Check out this little dock here. They got a canoe, and it looks like a swimming hole. Got the ladder going up to the dock. Isn't this beautiful? Well, I've set my beer down to explore. Notice this big fire ring here with a bunch of dead grass in it. Let's go check out the chapel. Right next to the chapel is the beginning of the Hocking River. What a beautiful place. Walking around here, I noticed all the black walnut trees. You can notice them because you step on them and they almost make you roll your ankles. If you've never seen one, well, that's a black walnut right there. And you peel all that skin off and, well, then you have to crack the nut and really work for it. the stained glass. It looks pretty old too. I know it's dark but they have this nice chandelier and some more stained glass right behind the pulpit here. I wish I could show you. It looks like there's a, a pipe organ looking design up here. Couldn't be a real pipe organ. What a cool place. The chapel back here has been here since the 70s, and they rent this out for weddings and the outbuilding that I showed you earlier. But the oldest building on the property has been here since the 1800s, and the mill nearby, the rock mill, is where people would come from miles and miles away, they say, and post up their horses for the evening and have a drink or two or three over at the original house. It was a tavern slash house back in the 1800s. So a lot of people have come through here over the years. That house is where the original location of the brewery was. Now they've built the new location that you have seen with me in 2019. So historical place. I really like this brewery. Also, I'm really liking this Petite Saison. Decided already ahead of time to get the Oktoberfest. Yeah, these aren't around all year long, so I'm going to try the Oktoberfest. 5.6% Oktoberfest. I only say that because, well, they ran out of B's for the menu board and they had to put an O with a P, so <laughs> clever and creative. Very nice. Malty. This is a little more malty than most of the Oktoberfest that I have had lately. Okay. Hmm. Great finish. I like that. 
Okay, it's time to check out their swag section. Some shirts here that say Bandit Brewery on it. I'm not sure what the reference is there for those because we are at Rock Mill. Uh, looks like a lot of boxes here. And some other t-shirts. Oh, shirts. And they have glasses for sale. And this cool derby men. I don't know, what, what do you call the guys that ride on the horses? I know y'all were like, it's a jockey, man. It's a jockey. It's, it is a jockey. I don't know why that's there. I'm trying to read it, but my eyesight's pretty bad, so I'll probably only be able to read this in the edit. <laughs> if you're in a snacky mood and the food truck is not here, well, $1.50 for some of these snacks and a dollar for a candy bar. Good deal. Oh, and they're Anthony Thomas. Hey, that's the good stuff. If you didn't know, Anthony Thomas is the official maker of the Buckeye candy, the peanut butter with the chocolate covering. You know what I'm talking about, right? They only sell what they don't eat. That's what they say. Cucumber lime seltzer is the last sample I'm gonna have. I'm all done for the night. Already closed out my tab. Hmm. All right, I didn't smell it first. Usually I do that. I can smell on the way in. Oh, it's good. The finish is, wow, that's the best seltzer I've probably ever had in my lifetime. That is really, really good. That's one of those fancy hotels where you have the cucumber water they make available to you. Maybe has some strawberries in it or something. This doesn't taste like strawberry. This is a cucumber greatness. This is really, really good. Woo, I like that. I would order one of these. I never thought I'd want to order a seltzer, but I kind of want to order a seltzer. This is really good. Nighttime, the brew house looks really cool. Just kind of backlit, just right. One thing I didn't get to show you guys was their outdoor seating area. It's really nice. It's a little chilly out tonight. They got this fire going. It smells wonderful. But I'm on my way out, friends. I don't have time to hang out here in front of the fire with all these great beer drinking people. I appreciate your company today, friends, here at Rock Mill Brewing Company in Lancaster, Ohio. I'll see you at the next brewery.